So, I tried my best. It's time to admit defeat. And it's time to do what I do best, which is altering a pattern to suit my needs. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. This pattern has a lot of faults, um, but I'm going to fix it. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking out the bra cup completely. What I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this curve out to go there. And we'll see where that brings us. So I have to go do that now. Okay, it has to be done, and it's badly pinned on my mannequin, but I took out all the extra here and just did straight across. I hope I did it straight. I believe in myself. It's all good. So what needs to happen next is uh, I'm finally back uh, where I was about two weeks ago, and the lining's in, so what needs to happen next is I need to straighten it out, make it look pretty, um, and then I don't... I don't know what happens next. I think it's just finishing installing the lining on it and making sure everything's uh, nice, I think. So yeah. Also, as an extra thing, I decided not to install the sleeve lining because it was difficult getting the sleeves on here in the first place. It was more difficult trying to get the lining to actually line up. And you know what? No one's really going to see anyway. So that's fine. It's all good. I don't know what to do at this point because it's just not working and it's I think it's just a bad pattern like I've made vests before and I've made shirts before. I know how to put on sleeves, and I know how to put in lining, and I know how to do things. So why isn't it working? And now my dog is barking and howling outside. It's past midnight, I am so tired. So my solutions are I can remove the sleeves, but if I remove the sleeves, then the sleeve garter I bought is useless because it's going to rub and irritate my skin. Option two is that I continue messing with it and try to see why it is not working, but like, I've been doing that for hours now and I'm just about at my limit I figured it out it's the back I'm gonna take it in and I know I'm gonna have to take it in up here it was too big I took it in now with safety pins, and I'm gonna work on it tomorrow and mark it and see if that helps. But it fits much better like that. Yay! I'm gonna go in bed now. I had a safety pin in my mouth, and it was open, and now it's on the floor. Oh, I don't know where it was. Okay, I'm gonna go find it and then go to bed. Okay, quick thing while this is on my mind, if you ever want to take in something with the lining, this is a really bad way to do it. Because what I'm going to do is I have pencil marks all along the thing where the safety pins 
are marked along like to like the small of my back. I don't know if I'm speaking coherent English right now, but anyway, so you're gonna do that usually when you alter, and then you know you mark your little lines, right? And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to open it up at the lining, and then you actually do not touch the lining at all, and you just take in the the top material, which is the issue in the first place. And then you close it back up and you have some excess lining and what you do is you kind of just gather it here and no one really notices. That's how you do if you do it properly. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm dumb, you know, and I was telling myself to take in the back the entire time and I was like, mm, don't feel like it. And now I'm at a point where it's really impossible to do that because I searched the bottom of this and like, I guess this is falling apart here and I can do that. But then I have to like whip stitch this all the way and I'm unsure if I'm committed to that just yet. So what I'm going to do and hopefully it'll be fine is I have it marked and then I'm going to take the safety pins out and let's pretend I did and I'm going to turn it around and match it up and sew down and taper it off and try to match that. Um, is it going to work? I don't know. I'm probably going to cry several times while doing it, but it's fine. I hope this solves all the issues. Okay, so this is what not to do when you're altering a jacket. I am very lazy, and it's also going on my body and is never being taken off, so you're never gonna see this, which is why I did it this way and not the proper way. So what I have to do next is I have to add trim to the entire thing because since I decided to finish it using a lovely serging stitch because again lazy and also serging stitch um because that's the way i decided to finish it off i have to add trim to hide the serging because it's a bit too thick to fold over um i'm getting rid of the invisible zipper in the front i don't know why they thought an invisible zipper would work i don't know why they thought an invisible separating zipper would work it's not right for the jacket I'm probably wrong, but like, it's not, it's just not feasible, this backlighting. Okay, um, so that's what I did there. I gotta resurge it right here. I'll do that in a second. Um, so, have to add all the trim, and since I'm getting rid of the invisible zipper, I ordered five closures from Joanne silver closures to go in the front and that's how I'm gonna keep it closed hopefully it works they're basically um like hooks and eyes but they're fancy um so those look great and then that part of the jacket's done um so I get to work on the skirt pieces next and those will be a breeze, because all I have to do is basically sew them together and then attach them to the jacket. So, woo! This nightmare is almost over. <laughs> I went to Joanne today, and I got this trim. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it around the jacket, like so, and also around the sleeves. I think I got enough I hope I got enough because uh, I don't want to go back to Joanne and get this again So the instructions give a lot of stuff about, um, you know, how to do this. However, I think this way is not very effective. It includes binding for really no reason. And honestly, there's an easier way to do this. So 
I'm going to tell you how I do that way. ignore how my makeup looks right now because that's not the important thing the important thing is, is that this jacket has buckles now look at them look at them they're so beautiful <laughs> and now the last thing that needs to happen on this damn jacket is that these skirt pieces are going on they're all finished they're all top stitched and they're gonna go on this jack Shh. speaking they're gonna go on this jacket and it's gonna be done and I can move on to other things for this jacket yay it's done um so what comes next i have a wig there's a there's a mosquito i don't know where it went but there's a mosquito i have a wig that needs to be styled so i'm going to do a video on that and there are a few other exciting things i'm going to do in the real royalty prep so stay tuned <laughs> There's a mosquito! <laughs> wow.